Nigeria's Lagos state has a vision for a state in which land is equitably accessed, securely owned and effectively utilized for broad sustainable development in that state. Joining us now on this vision is Hakim Muri Okonola, who's the executive secretary of the Lagos State Land Use and Allocation Committee at the Lagos Lands Bureau. Thank you very much for coming through, Hakim. Um, in 2009, we saw the late President Omari Aradua propose reforms to the Land Act in Nigeria, the Land Act of 1978. How far has that process of review come? Well, um, there was a committee set up. I think that committee never completed its task because the whole project has now been put into hibernation. The last uh, amendment to the constitution came up and that was not part of it. So the federal government have actually put it on the back burner for now, I believe. All right, just talk to us about the system of land ownership in Nigeria. Agriculture has been a major policy focus for this administration, but we're told that land ownership is still a very controversial area because the land is said to be owned by the governor of a state or by a chief in the region. <laughs> well, the land, use and the land Use Act, which you referred to earlier on, vests all state land in the serving governor of the state to hold in trust for the people of the state, which means that he allocates and divides, apportions the land for the, into different zones and for different uses. Customarily, there were people who had land holding before the creation of that act, who are the people who you refer to as chiefs, but they are holding it as deemed allotees of land by the governor of the state still. So it is like a trusteeship that the governor holds. All right. So in terms of uh, transactions, as we look at property development, real estate development in Nigeria, there are questions as to how land can be used as collateral in any transaction. Um, issues around accessing mortgages, subleases, transferring ownership of land. How are those resolved in that kind of environment? Well. Um if we take Lagos State as a case in point, a study point for instance, all land titling and holding is evidenced by a document called the Certificate of Occupancy and any subsequent transfers are evidenced by a deed of assignment, subleases or with the assent of the governor of the state. And these are the same documents that banks, mortgage institutions hold as collateral, equitable or legal when these transactions are done. And all of this is in um, electronic data format in our registries at the Lagos State Government. And there's ease bit of transactional issues between the banks and the government. Now, I mean, I know that um, Lagos State has a vision of creating Lagos as a mega city, for instance, a huge drive to urbanize um, industry and just bring it into the 21st century. And this raises questions about the program for agricultural reform, for instance, where a lot of agrarian activities use small holders. And these small holders are urged to start thinking about commercializing their activities through economies of scale. So there is now pressure to utilize a lot more land for agricultural activities and to give those users of the land rights of tenure. What's the approach in Lagos State? Oh, Lagos State has an initiative that we call the Agri Youth Empowerment Scheme. That scheme is where we train about a thousand we have a vision, a five-year vision, to train five, a thousand number youth people. Every year we graduate about 200 of them. We have a partnership with the Israelis and the Germans. And after their education, they are empowered by giving them one hectare of land with funding so that they can move from a subsistence type farming to a commercial type farming scheme. All right, now some of the issues that other African countries have grappled with concerning land reform in general is the market value of land. Um, in South Africa, there's talk of expropriation. If those who are landowners don't sell their land at um, 
reduced prices. There's a tendency that if government starts wanting to use the land for other purposes, the owners start to inflate the land. In countries like Zimbabwe, we know what happened when, if the market value isn't right, just seize the land. What's the market approach to land and pricing in Nigeria and in Lagos State? Well, in land, land titling in Lagos State is not as you've described in your part of the world. In Nigeria, title to land is held individually or corporately, and there are, there are not many issues where we have, if the government needs to take land for public purposes, the law provides for taking it, but then adequate compensation will be paid to the allotees of such land. It's not a punitive action in Nigeria to take land except where there have been defaults by the allotees, like in the area of non-development, which creates an even and unbalanced developmental growth for the state. All right, thank you so much for just coming through and just talking to us about uh, processes of land ownership in Lagos State. Hakim Mori Okunola, who's the Executive Secretary for the Land My Bureau pleasure. in Lagos State.